Are you looking forward to throwing out the first pitch at Target Field this year, to going back to Cooperstown, where I see you every summer this July, to be with your fellow Hall of Famers? Is that on oh, your yes, to-do list? I'm, I'm looking forward to it. The, the thing that I'm looking forward to most is going to spring training. So you feel like you'll be up to that? Oh yeah, the, the drill instructor, my wife, has got me walking back and forth uh, to make sure I get my legs in shape and get my breathing at its best so that when I get down to Florida, I'll be okay. I heard that, you know, I heard that he wants to be in uniform. That'd be great. <laughs> it says a lot. Scares me. <laughs> You know, that'll almost bring a tear to your eye. And I, I appreciate that. And if he's down there, he's certainly going to jump our energy level down at Fort Myers here in the very near future. You know, it's emotional just thinking about it, you know, from what he's gone through and seeing, you know, what, you know, how he has been so determined to get through this event that, you know, many people don't. We all got to ask ourselves the question, if we were out, I don't think I could be, you know, as tough and have as good attitude as he has. He wants to be a spring trainer. He wants to be there. Uh, and I think that physically, when something happens, if your attitude is like Rod's attitude, it's going to be okay. I'm really excited he's going to come down. I don't expect him to come out there and be working in a cage for two, three hours at a time as he has in the past, but his presence is always very welcome in our clubhouse. It's taken a lot on his part, a lot on the family's part, um, but I think when he steps on that grass, it's going to be a very emotional time for him. People who remember you as a ball player and then after that as sort of a, a baseball elder statesmen are always struck by the elegance with which you played, your composure, how calm you were, your dignity. And yet you yourself say that these days you become emotional pretty easily, right? Very. And, you know, I don't know how many days I cried in the hospital. Every single day that I was in that hospital, I cried. And I'm, I'm not afraid, I'm, I'm not ashamed to say you know, that I cried because I'm a man. And they said, oh, we're not supposed to, but, you know, things like this allow you to let those emotions go. If someone is watching this now and says, what can I do either for Rod Carew or in Rod Carew's name, what can they do? What do you need from them? I would like both men and women to go out and get their hearts checked. They can go to any imaging place and make sure that you're okay. That's what's important to me right now.